remind me of a thing, and that is the African beauty. Um, my name is Olado Tunluaka or the Peter. Capable, and the name of my business is Capable Design. I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm also a fashion designer. Um, on the long side, also I'm a student. I'm a student of Federal College of Agriculture, Akure in, Le in Nigeria. I'm studying agricultural engineering. Um, to me, sustainability um, has a lot of de definition, but when it comes to me personally, it means a way of doing things in order to be able to continue it, not just to generate funds, but to also have a kind of um, relative impact to both you, the people around you, and um, to the entire um, world at large. And that means when you, when, when it's like it's like a resonance that you, you, you transmit, and each resonance coming out from you comes back as a, um, as a, as a, like a benefit to you. It's bounce back to your community, then to your country, then to the world at large. So it's something that goes on and on and on, sustainability. We've been listening a lot this week about your story of coming here. Yeah. Can you tell us how, how it was? What um, actually happened was um, on that, on the faithful day I was on Facebook um, shopping and I saw the um, adverts about um, Nelly's um, summit that is to happen in Lagos and then I was in Akure like um, a four hours journey to Lagos so um, I registered for the summit um, before registering for the summit I um, have met Mr. Lawrence um, in Akure he came to my school to talk to us about the importance of agriculture so since then um, after seeing his passion and the way he took um, sustainability and entrepreneurship, so I've been following him on social media. So after I saw the advert for the summit, I registered. So a day to the, um, to the um, seminar, I mean to the summit in Lagos, I realized I was not having enough capital to purchase a um, transport fare down to Lagos State for the summit. So I tried borrowing and all the people I worked up to, they were broke, my classmates, my colleagues in school and uh, I never had any sort of income. So I was like, before the day runs out, I'm going to make money, I'm going to get money. So it was around 6 p.m. in the evening, ah, no money. Ah, the next day, I mean, 6 p.m. in the evening, and I have to go to Lagos, no money. I just went to the um, school, to the school common room, where guys play and this. Day. Then I saw one of my colleagues, I said, he needs a phone, and I asked him, will he buy, purchase mine? Ah, after much deliberation, I sold the phone to him and immediately gave me the money. I came back to my hostel, packed my bags in the very late in the evening and boarded the bus going to um, Ibadan from Ibadan. Then I entered, I got to Ibadan around 12 um, or 10 in the, in the night, late in the night. Then I bought the bus going to Lagos. So I got to Lagos around um, after 1 or to 12 in the midnight. So there was no transport fare to carry me down to where I would sleep. So I had to trek. I started trekking for some distance, then I saw um, somebody maybe was coming from the airport or something, so I had to stop his car. So the man helped me to um, Yaba before I now got to my destination, then I slept. So very early in the morning, because I was not sure of the location of where the summit is going to take place, so I had to look, search for the address on Google, but I was not still sure, so I called the number on the adverts. So the lady now told me how I'm going to get to the venue. So that was how I boarded the bus and I got to the venue. So during the venue, we met a lot of speakers who came and they talked to us about Nigeria, about um, leadership, about entrepreneurship and about sustainability. So um, the program changed my mindset and some things as an entrepreneur. And aside from that, um, we were told that after lunch, we should come back for a raffle draw where people, um, someone is going to be selected to come to Japan for this global um, gathering. And as, 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 as one of the participants for the lottery, I wished I was the one. And I said, Lord, I wish I was the one. But, you know, it was just with um, a mouth fit, you understand? But luckily for me, um, I was selected as the person to attend the summit. And sincerely, it was one of the most happiest days of my life. Because um, I've always been dreaming of traveling at this even out of Nigeria and I never knew to be 
out of Africa as a continent to another continent like ja um, Asia coming down to Japan. So it was like a lifetime opportunity for me and I have tried to make use of every possible um, opportunities I find here in Japan and I'm happy for the kind of people who came all over from different countries of the world to attend the Global Garden and they have been able to share their mindset on how they are doing great things in their various countries and I've been able to learn a lot and I'm hoping when I get back to Nigeria I'm going to start something and do something great also. Uh, um, as a fashion designer we have a lot of things we encounter on a daily basis. From, uh, especially with the kind of country I am, Nigeria, where there is um, no regular light supply, um, transport system is not that efficient, and you know, a lot of insecurity and insurgencies. But still, yes, as an entrepreneur, those are one of the things that makes you sustainable. You have to be strong and um, dogged. So, uh, how I will release sustainability to my area of business is normally I just do my business and just to increase my farm base, so I have a lot of customers to get demand from them, supply it, um, do, do the services they require from me. But after I came in contact with sustainability, now my mentality changed from just satisfying my customers, but also giving them um, a, 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 a kind of a kind of lifetime um, happiness. That, that is, that is why I, I believe by sustainability. There are, there are people who, when they come around and they see your work, they'll be like, wow, I love this. Some, some people don't even know that all this kind of sewing, like what I'm wearing now is sewn by me, that we can do it in Nigeria. So when they see, they be like, do you mean this kind of things is done here in Nigeria? Because most of them believe they are always imported and brought from. So when we tell them it has been done here, they be like, wow, can I learn? Can I? So even if those people say, um, um, raise um, notions of they trying to learn the, the trade, but because my mindset is just, for you to come, patronize me, I render the service and you go. But now, based on sustainability, I can bring in more youth who have the passion to learn fashion, train them on maybe low income, I mean, on low expense or no expense, if um, the platform is okay. Then after that, we can um, assist, because when you come to Nigeria, you find a lot of youth who go to a very good school, come out with very good results, but they find it difficult to secure jobs. And um, not for them not to be a problem for the society, for them not to be a liability to the country, what we need to do is to acquaint them with skills in their different way, um, passion of profession. I, I love fashion, that is why I came into it. There are a lot of people, some love tailor, um, I mean, some love to be bricklayers, carpentry, um, hairstylists, and others, um, um, hair making, makeup, um, um, bakery and others. So when, um, as, a, as a person, I know a lot of people who are also in different um, artistic work like that. I have a friend who is a very good graphic designer who does painting. So if I can bring all of them on board and say, okay, please, I want you to come on board and help me train these individuals. So when they are true with their academics or their schooling, they won't be able to just rely on getting a white collar job. They can start something on their own with little fund and they can use that to sustain themselves. Pending the time, they are going to get a bigger job. So if you can do that, number one, it will increase rates of employment and self-employment. It will reduce insurgencies and a lot of um, crimes in our society. You see a lot of use going to cyber crimes. And if you can channel those energy they use in staying awake, trying to involved in cybercrime and channel it into them getting a good and skilled profession. It will be better. So I feel I can bring and invite sustainability into my business by allowing others, especially youth, learn my um, business or my um, profession based on their own um, personal interest. Then I believe they can do more to others too, because if they see um, capital designs as a platform for them to learn, I believe they will be inspired to also do it, to inspire others. I I would I would I would rather want you to 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 look at me as a case study. I wish you were able to meet other Nigerian youth and interact with them. Aside from the um, intellectual um, understanding and wisdom of every basic youth. Um, on the on the contrary, they don't youth don't really fashion um, 
sitting down for a long time, not gaining entertainment. Like uh, as 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 an individual, after attending any summit, it changed my perspective on the kind of the, the ways I think, the the kind of things I do, and the kind of um, of of people I move with. If I'm I'm very sure if. I had not um, met with um, Mr. Lawrence, or I'm very sure if I had not taken the risk of selling my phone to come down to um, the summit, I wouldn't have the opportunity to be here now. But because um, I saw Mr. Lawrence, there was something in him that triggered my passion to pursue entrepreneurship and to be dogged about it. And aside that, when I go to the Lemmy Summit, and Summit, they talk about sustainability, which is something I don't. I have, I have never come um, to think of. All, all my ambition was just to be a fashion designer, have a good client base, get their jobs, deliver it, and you know, just continue recycling like that. But Nellis gave me a platform that, you are doing this, yes, you are okay, but I want you to do more. And by doing more, you will inspire others. They, too, they will try to do more. They will inspire others. They will try. So it's just like... Um, a, a platform giving me the opportunity for me to be better and what the platform requires for me in return is just to do it bless the life of others be a role model to people in my community you know so that every one of us we share a singular um, kind of orientation about life that is why they say a one word in harmony they say we should um, we should connect with each other we should inspire each other and in any possible way, we should empower each other. So as, as a youth, when, when you go through such kind of, um, um, how would I call it, agenda of an organization, you will know it is not just about the same. Everything Nellis said, it's, 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 it's not something we can do for Nellis. It is what Nellis is ready to do for us. Nellis is ready to connect us with each other. Nellis is ready to inspire, inspire us as an individual. Then any possible ways which we need empowerment, they are ready to empower us. So. It's just like I'm doing my business. It is what I do, and maybe with the blessings of God, I can use to grow. But here is an NGO. There is, there is an organization that is coming in as the, and saying, "Capable Designs, you have been doing fine, and we are sure what you have been doing. But we are, we are ready to connect you with people who will inspire you, who would make you do better. And anywhere you need um, empowerment, anywhere you need assistance, we are also ready to assist you. All we just want you to do is think sustainability." Let others think of sustainability. So it's if like it, it's just like um, how would I say it's just like a guardian angel. So um, I believe every uh, entrepreneur in Nigeria, every entrepreneur around the world, also wants to see this kind of opportunity. And I'm very glad I am utilizing the opportunity very well. What, what do you think of Japan? Japan, wow. Mm -hmm. um, um, sincerely. Um, when traveling from Lagos down to Japan, there were a lot of things I was just thinking. A lot of things. I'm coming to Japan. I was thinking, how will I be able to communicate and things like that? But here we are in Japan. Lovely people, friendly, and um, they have a nice environment, organized. I love the organization, good transportation system, beautiful environment. And most especially their food, very tasteful food. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've not been able to adapt with it, but at least I did it very well this week. I had a lot of delicacies, and which I'm happy with. And um, Japan is um, a country also after because um, the summit will be ending today or tomorrow, mm. and I will have to go back to Nigeria. But I still wish I still wish to visit Japan. Not um, just to come for maybe weeks, but to have a long and lasting relationship with people in Japan because I see a lot of boundless opportunities here. And I've been able to learn a lot from the organization of the Japanese, um, the way they release, the way they do their things. It has also changed my mindset on how we should approach life and in general. Um, and it has also given me a kind of, um, uh, it has given me a kind of hope that as, as an individual, I am responsible for the, 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 the progress of my brother, my friend, and everyone. Um, let's, let's take Mr. Peter, um, for example. I, 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 he, he didn't know me from anywhere, and willingly he sponsored my trip down to Japan. 
and it's that alone is in, is enough for me to to give me a mindset that when I am also in a position to raise others, I should do so. So, as I've said, um, we, we rise by lifting others. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter. Um, I appreciate Peter. this section, and um, it has been a very, very wonderful moment with everyone, 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 everyone from Colombia, from Malaysia.